Atkinson and welcome to the Market Herald Top Line. Red Pine Exploration is a precious metals explorer involved in the identification, acquisition and development of properties in Ontario, Canada. They are led by an experienced management and technical team with the company's flagship Wawa Gold project located two kilometers southeast of the municipality of Wawa in northern Ontario. And today I am joined by the company's president and CEO, Quinton Yeri. Thank you so much for dropping by the Market Herald to inform us of your company's current gold project and investment opportunities. Well, thank you for having me. This will be great. So as this is your first time here on the Market Herald top line, could you provide us with just some insight about yourself and who Red Pine Exploration is? Sure. Red Pine Exploration is a junior exploration company in Canada. We trade on the Toronto Adventure Exchange and on the OCT. Um, we're based in Toronto, but our projects in Wawa, Ontario, we're focused on a gold project there, which we call the Wawa Gold Project. Uh, two resources uh, on it currently. Uh, we've been working on that project for over seven years now. Um, I've been involved with the company for more than 10. I started as the VP of Exploration, and I'm currently the CEO. I've been in this industry for, oh God, I'd hate to say it, but it, almost 30 years now, uh, mostly as a geophysical consultant before I became a uh, VP of Exploration and then I've migrated into the CEO role. All right. And you have an impressive management team. So could you also let investors know who has been with you on this journey? Yes, uh, we've had the board of directors is impressive. I, I would agree with that statement. And it's seen recent changes. Uh, just over a year ago, we did a consolidation of ownership of the property. We didn't have it all. So we consolidated ownership with a $20 million raise, purchased out our joint venture partner. And when I was able to do that, I was able to attract some very high level people to our board of directors. Uh, significant on that board is Paul Martin. Uh, he joined us at that time. Paul is the past CEO of Detour Gold Mines, which I would suggest is a Canadian success story. Um, Paul's a great mentor for me. I am technical by all aspects and Paul brings a lot of business sense uh, to us. Um, we also have excellent technical advisory committee. Uh, Andrew Bowman, who's an ex Barrick C-suite executive who ran uh, the Hemlo gold mine for Barrick for the last 25 years. Uh, this is also the first board he sat on. And, and then there's Rachel Goldman who comes from who recently joined us, who comes from the financing industry, which provides me with a great deal of input and, and experience in that end. All right, and to get into more about your projects, your recent press release shows that gold mineralization extends south of the Park Hill Fault. So what does this mean? Yes, uh, for those that are familiar and aren't familiar with the Wahoo Gold Project, most of the information has been collected north of what we call the Park Hill Fault. So there was 10 past producing mines on this property we're currently working on. Uh, all but one of those was north of this major structure called the Park Hill Fault. Um, so it was sort of uh, an unknown area. We uh, found it, we've explored it, we've exposed it. And what we've done is we've now drilled it and it contains high grade gold of similar tenor of our resource. And it seems to extend the gold mineralization over an additional 1.8 kilometers in strike length. Uh, and that is really a greenfield exploration. And it seems that the gold subcrops that surface because we can channel sample it, but that extends the strike of mineralization of the Wawa Gold Corridor to over six kilometers. So very significant change. Yeah, and as you said, your Wawa Gold project is well underway. So could you just give us some details on the results that you have received so far? Yes, uh, as I mentioned, there's two resources. Uh, currently, we have 700,000 ounces uh, in inferred and indicated just over six grams per ton. Um, we've been pushing the envelope down. Uh, most of the resource is above 300 meters. In fact, 90% of it is. So for us this year, the goal was to prove that mineralization extends to depth, so down dip and down strike. And we have proved that. We put out some excellent results, uh, great thicknesses and high grade mineralization showing that mineralization extends in all those directions. So we're really starting to add ounces to the existing resources. So as you said, you recently reported that phase one of this project did intersect high-grade gold mineralization in the Minto mine shear zone. So could you 
go into a little bit more detail about that. Sure, there's two resources. One's the Saluga, which is very thick. It's about 10 meters average thickness and a, you know, a grade of about 5.6 grams per ton. And it's the largest of the two. The Mito Mine, though, is more typical of greenstone belts in Canada. It's a narrower vein, say three meters, uh, quartz tourmaline vein, uh, very distinguishable. Uh, past producers there had an average head rate of about 14 grams per ton, uh, but we were, we've been having great success uh, hitting high grade. And when I mean high grade, like we had five gram or sorry, 5.6 meters of, you know, uh, just over 20 grams per ton. So great grades and great thicknesses, but we've had some spectacular grades come out of there as well. The highest being 109 grams per ton over a true thickness of two and a half meters. So yes, we're, we're adding some nice step material there. All right, and what can we expect to see from Red Pine going forward with phase two? Well, uh, probably a little more of the same. I mean, we recognize that we need to increase the number of ounces on this project. Um, I think we're proving that. We're proving that mineralization extends to depth uh, and down dip on the current resources. And we've also proven this year that mineralization extends much greater than anyone previously Thought. So I think moving forward, our goal is just to confirm to our shareholders and, and others, and hopefully new shareholders, that they can see the resource on this being much larger than the 700,000 ounces that it currently is. And before we finish off, is there anything else that you would like investors to know about Red Pine? Um, I think in this market, uh, we're in a great jurisdiction. I mean, one of the things we haven't spoken of is, is where we are specifically, and that's in Ontario, in an emerging gold belt. Uh, our neighbors uh, have the highest grade mines and low cost producers in Canada right now with uh, Alamos, who is a 20% owner of Red Pine. Um, you know, so we're in a great jurisdiction, an enviable land package for sure. Um, and we have third party support, as I mentioned, from Alamos. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to hearing more about your progress in the future. Great, thank you for your time. Red Pine Exploration is trading on the TSX under the symbol VRPX at 31 cents a share. I'm Danielle Atkinson for the Market Herald. Thanks so much for watching.